I listen to metal. I grew up with metal. I've done everything that I possibly could. That's why I feel like that it's time to see what the rest of the world has to offer in other genres as well. My name is Aaron, and I grew up as a metalhead. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Welcome back, everybody. Hope that you're excited because we are returning to 17. Now, you know how I feel, how we all feel about 17. It's been pretty good times together, and I've been enjoying their music much. So, let's see what they got in store. Three songs? Gotta do them all. So, why not? Let's check it out. I don't even know them. Hold on. <laughs> okay, so apparently this is called Youth him or something like that i had to look it up <laughs> let's check it out Ooh. nice <laughs> <laughs> that was really cool. Actually, interestingly enough, I kind of like this balance of like it being kind of a more poppy song, but then like also have elements of ballad. 
I thought that was really nice. Um, this is one of those ones that, like, I kind of feel like that whenever I sit down to write music, this is something that I wish I could write. It kind of reminds me a little bit of my childhood. There would be a lot of songs that, you know, you kind of were shown as kids that you're like, this is something that you can listen to, don't worry about it, you know? And I don't know why, so it makes me feel really nostalgic for that reason. Um, but I will say, though, I, I really like the lyrics behind this. The, again, this is kind of like I was saying, like something that once in a while when I sit down and start trying to write music, I'm just like, someone wrote this better. That's kind of how this feels. <laughs> and I find it kind of interesting because I guess technically speaking, eh, they're a little bit younger, but I think they're close enough in age to be able to kind of understand how a lot of this stuff kind of feels. You know, I think that's the probably one of the bigger things is like, I really, really like to be alone but I don't like to feel alone and that's something that I touched on on this and I was just like wow um, this is a little too close to home <laughs> <laughs> I can't either. I think that's something that is kind of interesting. Sometimes it is kind of hard to know where, you know, your next fount of or source of happiness comes from. Because I think sometimes for, I think for some of us, we are required to kind of make it ourselves. And, you know, I think that's one thing that's kind of interesting is that um, this channel has really kind of been a source of happiness for me for a long time now. And sometimes, not to get like super personal, but like sometimes it's one of the few positive things that actually ha happens and that I can look forward to and enjoy and feel that happiness. And so I, th I think I kind of like that. And I think that that's one of the reasons why the song kind of sticks with me. They're, they're speaking a little too much truth to power here. I love his fish phone. <laughs> I do. I think this is a, something that I'm kind of slowly starting to learn a little bit again. Now, the funny thing is, is when I was in kind of like junior high and high school and stuff like that, I was pretty, I was pretty bold and I didn't really care what most people thought of me. <clears throat> I still kind of don't, but almost to a fault. And I think the interesting thing is, is like for me personally, I just sit there and think to myself, like, um, I, I'm almost, I almost convinced myself of not going out and doing things and not being bold enough and I think sometimes it causes me to lose out on memories. <laughs> and I have to say, it kind of, it's kind of uh, been something that I've been dealing with, like, with the whole, if you've kind of kept up in the comedy, or not comedy, comment section, the community tab. Um, I've been debating whether or not if I want to go to see Purple Kiss, and uh, mainly because it's just like, it will have to be me, it will be by myself, and I don't know anybody, and I don't know where or what, or to expect, <laughs> and so it's been, like, one of these things where I'm just like, oh, man, I don't know if I want to go, I don't know if I want to go, but there's, like, a part of me that's just like, oh, let's just go, and I think sometimes you got to learn how to try not to care like that, and I think that's something that I'm starting to kind of remember from who I, from who I used to be when I was younger, and, um, yeah, it's kind of interesting how this, the lyrics on this turned around. I, I was not expecting that. 
That. This is a good run. Again, this is kind of the thing that I think is uh, um, really something special about Seventeen. Um, I feel like in a lot of senses, uh, they're one of the few groups that I feel like that can really write um, songs that can be easily related to, if that makes sense. Just to, always seems to be something that like I'm like, there's no way that this can be that good, or like maybe this, that, or the other, and then suddenly bingo bingo and here i am 10 minutes in being like wow uh, this makes me rethink my whole life <laughs> uh good stuff good stuff anyway um thank you all for watching and we shall see you for the next one goodbye <laughs>